Okay, so hi guys, this is my other little video. Um, this video is probably going to be kind of long, so uh, just to let you guys know if you guys are like, oh, too long, did not watch. Um, but yeah, I'm probably just going to ramble on about a few little update things and uh, continue on with some stuff that I had mentioned in my last little doll video um, that I kind of want to mention, uh, like, you know, extend pawn. Um, so yeah, if you guys don't care about any of that or doll stuff, again, don't watch these. Um, don't feel obligated to. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so yeah, I want to go ahead and uh, my first little update, sorry if my cat meows, he's by my feet. Um, but my first little update is that I haven't really been um, very like active, you know, or like buying much in the doll hobby right now. Um, because I'm pretty much saving most of my money because I'm having a bit of a, I guess you could say kind of like a life change. Um, which requires me to save up some money for some pretty important things, which I have no problem with, of course. Um, so I'm not like buying any dolls right now, and I probably won't for a little while, um, which is perfectly fine with me. But um, uh, but you know, because I have all my little lovelies here. Um, but of course, in the dolly world, you always want to expand upon what you have in the future. But you know, um, but yeah. So anyway, I haven't really been buying too much doll stuff, so you're not really miss missing out on much. Um, but I did make a uh, an order to Leak World, um, which is of course like you know, if you know doll stuff is like. Uh, they sell lots of wigs and whatever. So anyway, uh, I made an order to Leak World for some wigs for some of my dolls because I think they need them. Um, I'll zoom over here and see the one I'm talking about, which right now is uh, River. And uh, my little cat boy over here, my camera will focus. Um, I got him a new wig uh, in the order. Um, it's kind of the same style that he has right now. I don't know if you can... Um, my camera will focus and you can see that. But um, anyway, it's kind of the same style that he has right now. It's sort of like with the blunt cut kind of bangs. Um, but it's a little bit shorter and it's all black. And my cat is jumping. He scared me. Uh, but it's a little bit shorter, it's all black, and it's a tiny bit wavy. Um, and the reason why is because I love this wig. It's like perfect for him. I love the colors are perfect and everything. Um, but I wanted to get him a little bit of a shorter wig. Um, because I kind of want to trim this one, just because it should be a little bit shorter canonly. Um, but I can't really get that wig over again if I do, because it's limited. I had a, It was a custom-made one. So I want to get him a different one, just in case I happen to butcher this one or whatever. Um, but also because canonly in his uh, story, when he's a bit, I guess you could say, younger, younger, um, he has a different hairstyle. So I thought it would be fun. I really like having... Uh, my dolls having different hairstyles, like from when they're younger and older, different periods of their life, if that makes sense. So I got him a new wig in that order. Um, my camera just like, woo! Uh, Faustus, I didn't get anything for him, unfortunately. He's like kind of the lone one out right now. Um, but I did get a uh, two new wigs, actually, for Calliope up here. Let me see if I can zoom into her. Um, I did get um, two new wigs for Calliope. Um, one of which is the exact same wig that I had showed you guys before, the really curly one that I accidentally ordered in the um, wrong color. So I went ahead and, uh, and got that wig again, but this time in the right color. Um, so hopefully that will work out. And I also got her a long wig um, because as much as I really love these curls and they're really fun and they're like definitely, you know, that's how her hair usually is, um, she does change up her hair a lot. Um, and I wanted to experiment with getting her a long wig, and basically it's like uh, really long and wavy, and it has two pigtails on each side. So like it has like you know the two pigtails, um, but it's like long and wavy, um, and it's of course the same color as well. So uh, I just wanted to give her something new um, and try that out because I think it'll be really fun. Um, and she does change her hair a lot, canonly anyway. So she would totally have her hair like that at one point. Um, so yeah, I also got her, <laughs> she's being a bit of a necklace thief as you can see right now. There's this one right here which will not roll down. Um, but anyway, uh, she's wearing a ton of necklaces uh, and I got her this cute little, um, like little hipster glasses charm and I made her a necklace for that. Um, but yeah, canonly in her story, she's quite the, uh, jewelry thief you could say because she keeps them as mementos, uh, for certain events or people in her life. So she tends to collect a lot of jewelry. Um, she's a bit of a jewelry thief, uh, <laughs> or memento thief, I sh should say, just kind of taking uh, pieces of other people and holding on to them. Um, Etzel doesn't really get anything new. Uh, does she get anything? No, I don't think they did. Um, oh, but another thing for Calliope, though, is I actually got her um, a different pair of eyes. 
as much as I really like these ones, um, they're kind of hard to photograph, even though they're very close to what they should be canonly. Um, they're pretty hard to photograph, um, just because of the pupils. Um, so I actually got her some eyes with normal pupils, kind of like what Etzel has, um, with normal black pupils, and they're orange. Um, so I'm going to see how those look. Um, hopefully they'll work out really nice, I'm not too sure. Um, they're not exactly canon, but I don't really mind. I wanted to try some new things for her. Um, I do need to still need to get Etzel new eyes and also River new eyes, because River's eyes are too big. Um, and Etzel's eyes are too dark, but I haven't got those yet. In the future, I will, um, but not yet. I just got Calliope some. So, um, anyway, with the, I'm going to zoom out here again. The real reason why I had made my order to Leak World, which will lead me into my next little topic, um, is that they have a limited color right now. And I think it's called, um, sorry, I'm kind of out of breath. I have to hold up, like, my camera really high uh, to get this. Um, but anyway, um, the reason why uh, I'm making my order to Leak World is because of a limited color called Pure Purple, I believe it's called. And um, it's really, really hard to find, like, purple wigs in this hobby. It's really hard, especially fiber ones, um, which is the kind that I usually have my dolls in, aside from Etzel. Um, he has a fur wig, but all my other ones use uh, fiber wigs, or synthetic wigs. Um, and, yeah, it's really hard to find purple, so... When I saw this color, I was like, OMG, this is perfect. It's like meant to be. And uh, that leads me to my next little uh, topic is that um, the reason why I really wanted to get that wig, uh, a wig in purple, is because I've been thinking a lot about in the future what kind of like dolls that I want to get next. And I think I mentioned it before my last video. Um, but right now I'm really, uh, I'll zoom in here, I am really interested in uh, getting... Um, dolls to sort of like, I guess, quote, complete, um, you know, my unicorn character's uh, story, if that makes sense. Um, I want to get uh, the other two characters, sorry, my cat is jumping. I want to get the other two characters um, in Faustus Trio. He's like really white, I'm sorry. You can barely even see him. Uh, maybe I'll zoom out then. <laughs> I was going to zoom into him, but you can barely see him in this light. He's so white. Um... <laughs> You're too white, Faustus. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, anyway, I really want to get the characters, uh, the other two characters in his trio because I have, you know, these three up here and they have their trio all good. Um, so, uh, but I've been thinking about that a lot and I think definitely the next doll that I'm really, really into getting as far as like character wise uh, is my character Euclid, which um, I'm sure you guys now know because I actually posted a picture of that character. Um, and I'm saying that character very specifically because, as I mentioned, uh, I think before, that character um, is supposed to have uh, a very um, ambiguous uh, gender, so uh, I don't want to actually give it away, but I'm sure some of you guys actually already guessed it, so I'm like, damn it, guys, you guys are too good. But still, for those of you who don't know, I don't want to give it away to you, so... Um, Anyway, but yes, my character Euclid, I'm really interested in getting that character as a doll next. And, um, <laughs> uh, some of you guys, like, get kind of upset, actually, when I don't tell you what doll I'm getting, like, next, uh, or for what character. You guys are like, come on, Arkel, you, you tell us, like, don't, why, why you no tell us? Um, so this time I'm not going to be, uh, secretive. Uh, I'm actually going to tell you what doll I have planned for that character. Um, and that is a Fairyland Mini Feet Luca. Um, in white skin, because Euclid actually has kind of purplish, sort of opalescent, purplish, grayish skin, kind of like Faustus is supposed to have, like, you know, opalescent, sort of bluish, yellowish, kind of, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but anyway, yeah, so, um, that character, of course, will be, uh, in white skin, Mini Fee Luca, um, of course, you can get that sculpt in either a boy or a girl, so it won't give you, uh, it won't give it away. Um, but, uh, even if it did, I could, you know, just do what I did with Etzel and then make it a girl or a boy, so, anyway, but that's beside the point. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, Euclid, I want to get that character, uh, definitely in the future my cat is shaking. Um, and also, of course, I want to get my character Rem as a doll, as I've mentioned probably before. I have a ton of USD stuff for him because I want to get him in a smaller size. Um, I have a ton of stuff for him and I really do want to get him as a doll. Uh, in a doll form, but the reason why I haven't is because the company that I want to get him from had been having some major delays, um, so they were really behind in their orders, so I, that's why I didn't get him earlier. 
um, but I will probably get him next or after Euclid. I don't know. I haven't really decided which one yet. I think it'll be a matter of circumstance um, which one I will get next, but probably, uh, well, definitely one of those two I want to get next uh, if possible. And again, this is really far in the future, but I just want to tell you guys, you know, my little dolly plans because it's a really fun to talk about that stuff. Um, but the other thing that I had mentioned in my last video is that I was really interested in getting a doll that doesn't have a character, like a pre-done, pre-made character of mine. Um, because a lot of people do that, and it seems like really fun to kind of like, you know, um, just create a character around a doll rather than, you know, like, find a doll for a character, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm really interested in doing that. I think it'll be so much fun. And uh, in the last video I had mentioned that I really liked um, Lutz Cherry Banshee. Um, but unfortunately, of course, that period of ordering was so small. And I'm like, I don't think I really need like a full set doll anyway, because that would be really hard to like make a character for, at least for me anyway. Um, so, you know, there's that. And the other doll that I really liked was um, a Dika doll, which had the really funny name. It was like five A's or something like that. And I really do still love that doll. I didn't realize that the, um, <laughs> I laughed at this so hard. I didn't realize that the pictures for it were actually, um, it, the doll was supposed to be portrayed as a trap. <laughs> so the doll was actually a boy and I didn't catch it at all. I'm like so bad with my like trap detection because I just, I don't know. I usually don't try to genderize dolls, but sometimes you just do. Um, and I'm like, wow, I fell for the trap really hard. But that's beside the point again. Um, <laughs> I still really do love that doll, and I'd love to have um, that particular um, sculpt, maybe, for like a random kind of um, character. My camera is not focusing. There it goes. <laughs> anyway, um, but I've also been really interested in another doll recently that might, you know, kind of fill that sort of, you know non-character whatever thing um, and that doll that I'm really interested in right now is a mini fiante but not a girl if you guys I'll, show, I'll link these all in the description um, but this doll is usually a girl but the second I kid you not the second I saw this doll I was like that is a boy like I just like even though this doll is pictured in a dress with like big boobs no offense with like you know a big chesticle region <laughs> Uh, and has this long hair. I was like, I just saw its face and I'm like, that is totally a boy. Like, especially where the eyebrows are concerned. I'm like, whoa, like, dude. I just could not stop seeing a boy in that doll. And I'm like, wow, there must be something wrong with me. I'll show you guys the picture uh, in the description. And you guys tell me if I'm, like, crazy here. But I can totally see, uh, you know, Mini Fiante as being a boy. And lately I'm just like, oh my gosh, I want this so bad. <laughs> so, um... Those are the two dolls that I'm really thinking of maybe getting in the future. Um, it's sort of like, you know, like an open character quote sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, a mini fiancé, like, as a boy, I really, really, really am, like, super excited about that. Like, I'm just, like, just in love with that idea right now, so. Um, but again, this is all really far in the future because I'm going to be saving money for other more important adult quote things. Um, because, you know, I have to do a bit of life changing, which is no problem, I don't mind, um, but... I just thought I'd, you know, share my little dull thoughts about, you know, what I'll probably do in the future. Um, and of course my little order to leak world, and I'll get definitely get, uh, show you guys those wigs when they get in. Um, it'll be really fun to show Calliope especially because she'll have all these, you know, pretty special awesome wigs uh, in River of course. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to go ahead and uh, tell you guys that. Uh, let me know what you think, um, actually, uh, about uh, Mini Fiante. I'll, sh again, link it in the description, or in the, yeah, description. I always get comments and description confused. Um, but anyway, I'll link that in the description. You guys tell me if I'm crazy and that doesn't look like a boy at all, and I'm just like, you know, just be like, Arkel, just stop. Don't do not do that. It's a girl. Stop. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys think, um, because I really uh, am loving that idea. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so yes, uh, recap. Uh, I made an order to leak world for wigs, um, but that won't be coming in for probably like a month or so because it's a limited color special event thing. Um, I'm, pro pro I'm probably going to be getting uh, my character Rem or Euclid as dolls next, but that'll be far in the future. And um, as far as another doll that I want to get that doesn't have a pre-existing character, right now I'm really thinking about um, Mini Fiante as a boy. So there's my little recaps, my little updates, and of course I have my new doll shelf here, which I already showed you in the last video. Um, so yeah, uh, that's all my little dolly updates. 
Um, I'm really busy. I actually made this video like a few days ago and just like I was so tired and I was like, okay, no, it's terrible. I'm not uploading this. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, that's about it. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me ramble on about dumb dolly things. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, uh, I'll talk to you guys again, uh, hopefully pretty soon. So, um, what do I say? I don't know. Um, shortas and lovely corns. Goodbye.